Marina here, and welcome. Welcome to the story time. Today, I want to read a story for you, and it's, it, it is called The World is Awake, a Celebration of Every Blessing. And it's written by Lindsay Davis with Joseph Atom and illustrated by Lucy Fleming. And this is the cover. Look at that. Let's read it together. This is the day the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun and the shade, while dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees, and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. And the bees, buzzy, 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 buzzy bees, and very busy, are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play yes just look at the sunrise that's painted the sky and look at the songbirds all starting to fly the world is awake it's a wonderful place alive with goals with god's power and glad with his grace out in the yard just waiting today are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere, and all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. It is in praise of the Lord that the trees grow tall, that grass grows green, and the flowers all call Look at us, look at us. God has dressed us too. Like great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water in sunshine and summer days too. And you, beautiful, beautiful you. And later today, what shall we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at the animals all afternoon. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze, despite all the noise from the young kangaroos. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling a song. I love zebras and lions and elephants too. Pandas, penguins and owls that hoo hoo. Peacocks and pa panthers are a great mountain sheep. And that grumpy old bear who's trying to sleep. Down at the zoo, they are all on parade. The wonderful creatures the, God, the good Lord has made. My belly sounds like a bear when he growls. It is time for supper, my tummy now howls. So let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. At supper time, I take my chair and bow my head and say a prayer. To thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed for milk and juice and bread and cheese, for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good. I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. And with my belly full, I start to yawn. Uh, the light outside is almost gone. Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love in the sound of the praise. The wind is whispering stories tonight, and far above the, the moon shines bright. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep calling me down to a dreamy sleep calling me down to a dream and sleep and i hope you like this book again 
what a blessing it is to have everything made by God. And we can enjoy it all together. I'll see you next time. Bye.